Hey guys, how's it going? Brandon here. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Platinum Generation Challenge. Last episode, you guys, was episode 02. And we made it here to Jubilife City, I believe it's called. We already have four of our six team members. So let's quickly have a quick team update. We have Brayden, the Shinx, the Lax Nature, which I find out ups defense, lowers special defense. So, you know, it's not too bad, I suppose. It rival Razor Tether foes the same gender. Yo, that's pretty cool. We have... Mojo, also the Lax Chimchar. He needs to learn Spark quickly as possible. Then we have Starscreen, the Adamant, if I remember correctly, Adamant Starly. And then finally, we have the Gentle Rosa over here. So today, you guys, we're going to be moving on throughout the region towards uh, Orberg City, I believe. And hopefully, fingers crossed, getting some experience from some of these mons. So we're going to put Rosie at the front, do some switch training. But straight off the bat, hey running, tell you what, get a little tougher. Me, I don't need to ask, God, I got tougher. Come on, let's demonstrate with you. We're going to start the episode off with a rival battle, because why the fuck not? We have trainer Alex, he has a Starly. Uh, I'm going to go into my own Starly. Quick attack me, i got a wing attack, bitch. And out speed, so my quick attack is going to kill. Rosie grew level 5. And finally a Piplup. Rosie, you can beat this thing, surely. If it just keeps growling, you will beat it. Did Rosa seriously just beat his Piplup? Yo, Rosa's gonna grow hella levels. What? What do you mean I lost? Well, that's it. Last time I ever lose. I'm gonna world's toughest trainer and you know it. First thing I'm gonna do is take on the Orberg City Pokemon Gym. I'm gonna toughen up for that, totally. Cool. I'm gonna grab this item. It's a Pokeball. And we're gonna battle this trainer. I suppose Rosa got a couple of good levels. He has a Zubat apparently and a Cricketot. Uh, we'll go into Star Screen. And a Zubat. Go back out of Rosa. Uh, in a Brayden, because why not? Supersonic, really? Come on, Brayden. Come on, Brayden, break through. Yeah, we go, Brayden. Ah, oh, near level 10 as well. Nearly level 10. Uh, we'll, stick Ro we'll keep Rosa at the front for the time being. Do you battle? Nope. You have a Shinx! Level 8. I'm going to get health back, which means I'm eventually going to kill you. That was a crit. Level 9 for Rosa! Alright, I just remembered that I did say before that I would not speed up uh, while I'm uh, just roaming around. So we got a match shot. Uh, definitely going to star screen for that. A low kick, wing attack didn't kill. Quick attack is going to kill though. And our mons are low on health, so I'm going to quickly. I'm going to use the speed up button, but I am going to quickly run back to the Pokemon Center. I was talking about this in a Mini Ninjas episode. Uh, I think it was uh, maybe episode. Maybe it was yesterday's video, or tomorrow's video. Um, I was talking about how I always have, like, in Pokemon games, a shit ton of potions. Uh, but, like, I never use them, and I reference it, like, to Pokemon. I only have two Pokeballs, I don't really need that. 13, see, I have 13 potions I could have easily, like, healed up then, instead of running all the way back to the Pokemon Center. But when you have the Pokemon Center, it's going to fully heal you everything, PP, health, everything. And it's completely free, like, why wouldn't you use it? Uh, we got Rosa. Oh, Brayden's quite close to level 10, so we'll do Brayden. Because I feel like he learned Spark at 10 or something like that. A Bidoof! He would get stabbed crit. Nope, nothing. Uh, when are you going to learn an electric type move that isn't charge? A Bidoof! Mojo! We haven't seen Mojo yet, and he's going to get level 12 from that. Nice, no, well done, Mojo. And a Abra. You start screen to just one shot this thing. Level 11 for star, star screen. Oh. The do. Fun fact I actually need to catch one of these for a HM slave. And I didn't catch it. There we go. So I now have no more Pokeballs, but luckily I don't have to, I have to catch any more Pokemon. Side deck.
Level 10 for Rosa. Stun Sport. Whoop! Alright. Uh, I feel like in this cave it's going to be mostly Rosa and Star Screen, so let's do that. You're going to give me Flash, aren't you? Thank you very much. Oh no, you're going to give me Rock Smash. Okay. I thought you gives us Flash. So I call the Bidoof. Come on then, what you got? You got a Starly. Fuck a wee piss poo. And a Shinx. Marja! And I burned. Nice and burned. I say, I have something that Rosa can kill. Fence kill. Oh, you want, bitch. I got crit! Oh my god, I didn't kill from that range. Are you fucking serious? Fuck this, getting out. This dude's gonna show us where the gym is, but I don't need to know where the gym is because I already know where the fuck it is. Yeah, it's my friend Alex. But I want to heal first while I talk to him. One thing I didn't do in Jubilife City, which I normally do, and that is go around and talking to everyone simply because it's fucking, it's just tedious. Huh? Oh, sure, Brandon, you finally got here. You're slow like always. But anyway, the gym's tough. Like, seriously. If your gym leader is this tough, I wonder how you can pass my dad. Huh? I just drifted there. Anyway, the gym leader's gone off to the coal mine. If you want to take on the gym leader, you better go off to the coal mine. So who's your dad? I feel like Cyrus is your dad. No, Cyrus not your dad. So everyone's around level 10 and above. I'm gonna go with Rosa for inside the mine. Oh crap, I don't wanna do that. Heart scale. Direct hit. Yellow shard. All the items out the arse. But let's go into the mine. Go and see this man. A Pokeball. Oh, I now have one Pokeball. And there's Zubats in here. Right. Or Pokemon. Hopefully, we. I don't want to run into Zubats. I want to run into Geodudes and Onyxes to level up Rosa. You don't want to battle. Do you battle? You battle. I thought you have a match out. No, he has a gear, dude. Level 11. Pretty much gave me a whole level then. No, no Zubat. I don't have HP Ice. There we go. So much experience I got for that thing. It's just gear, dude. Dead. Did nothing. Again, did nothing. I don't want to stun sport in case it has guts. Oh, 12. Nice. Oh, old oh, Onyx. So much experience. Geodude. Okay, stand back and watch this. Using the hit and move rock smash, a boulder blocking your way. Fallen boulders need to be smashed so they're out of the way. If you could get the badge from the gym in town, you better do this too. Of course, you'd have to beat the gym leader first. That'd be me. Alright, I'll beat you. I don't give a fuck. I ain't scared of you. And I, now I've just learned Mega Drain. You'll fuck, mate. You'll literally fight. You got, all you've got is defense. But you ain't got no special defense. And I've got a special attacker up in this bitch. Dun, 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 dun. Right, what I think I'm gonna do is we're gonna we're going to take on the gym trainers this episode, and then we'll start next episode um, with the gym battle itself. So Rosa is literally gonna run through this gym. Like, literally just run through this gym.
There you go. Okay, guys. So, like I said, we're going to just beat them two real quick. And then next episode, you guys, we will take on... Hang on a minute. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, what? No, no, we're going to take him on this then, because by the calculation of the clock in game, we've only been going for 10 minutes. So, fuck it, let's go. Welcome. This is the Orberg Gym. I'm Rock, the gym leader. I'm but one trainer who decided to work proudly with rock type Pokemon. As a gym leader, I need to see your potential as a trainer. And I need to see the toughness of your Pokemon to battle with you. Dun, 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 dun. No speeding up gym leader battles. Starts off with a Geodude. Rosary is going to run through his team. But if I set up a growth, let's see what he goes for. Hopefully he goes for like the defense curl. He puts up his rocks. Hello? Compared to battling out the arse right now, what's up his fucking rocks? Mega Drain is going to absolutely four times effective body that Geodude with a plus one. Yeah, if, if Rosary could learn Quiver Dance, that'd be fucking GG. Like, that would be... OU. Too much power. Onyx, again. It's gonna get absolutely bodied. Goodbye, Onyx. I think Cranny Dose outspeeds me, but I'm not really bothered. Just realising Rosa is now completely over fucking leveled. Well, not really, continuous Carados level 14. Cranny Dose has Mole Breaker. I outspeed, that's a dead Cranny Dose. Yep. And that's level 16 for Rosa. Da -da -da -da. Worry Seed. No. I'm good. Player defeated Leader Rock. What? How this could be? You baffled with my Pokemon. This is embarrassing. I went to last train and didn't have a single gym badge. But that's right. That you're strong and I was weak. That's all there is to it. According to the Pokemon League rules, I have to give you your own gym badge. Since you bid me, the leader, here's your official Pokemon League call badge. Mate, we've got a gym badge already and it's only the third episode. Yo, is that, I think that's Stealth Rocks. It must be Stealth Rocks. Yeah, Stealth Rocks. I don't need Stealth Rocks. Right. So now that's done, Rosa is now completely overpowered. Let's go back to Brayden. Uh, Starscreen and Mojo, because, no, they're not level 16 like Rosa is. And let's go see what we can find. I believe there's an item up here. Route 207. Matchups over here. Level 11. Learn Spark! Pokeball. Shout and learn spark at uh, Shinx probably isn't going to teach it spark. Oh, thud. Whoops, Brandon, you got the gym badge, huh? Tony City's next place the gym gives away badges, right? So yeah, I went to Route 207. I can't get there without a bicycle. I made my team battle and toughen them up. It wasn't a waste. So I'm going to bench Lunar City. Next up, the Eric bit gym badge. Ten seconds for a dash. Nine. Bah. Who's got time to count? That kid is in a rush. How the fuck did I like beat? How do you like beat him through the region? It's like ridiculous how you actually beat him. Braden Breakthrough. Braden's not strong yet, but he will be. This man has... This Shinx has so much potential. Yeah, let's come back down here. See what we can get. Go get some items, because why the fuck not? Flash! Oh, okay. Fair dues. Level 12, learn Spark. When the fuck does he learn a fucking move? Okay, we need Surf to get down uh, any further. 
I can still get this item. And can I battle this girl? No. Oh, a big pearl. I can sell that for a bit of money. That's cool. Zubat. Always hitting the supersonics. Side duck. My arm broke. Right, let's try and get out. Let's get out of this bitch. Let's get out of this bitch! Fuck this shit, I'm out. Oh, there's an item there. X Defender, so that is not down here as well. And a repel. Some Starlies. Might as well take them out. Need a better move than tackle. Need a better move than take out an own Shinx. 13. Yes! Finally, we'll body everything. Tell me! Have you not attended a Pipe Out? It is not a Pipe Out free to anyone visiting a Pokemon Center basement. Anyway, there appears to be no Shady in this Jubilee city. I shall therefore take my investigation elsewhere, but my friend, I suggest you remain vigilant for Shady grog up. So that's the thing, where I haven't played Platinum, I can't remember like, like when times like you run into Looker. Because obviously, I've, I've completed 4th gen, I, play, I've, I had Diamond, like I bought Diamond off my friend when it first came out. He looks, he completed it and then didn't want it anymore. And like, game that was still like 30 quid in the shop, he gave it to me for like a fiver, so. Now, 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 Professor Rowan, you must comply. Hand over your research findings for free, naturally. Fairly can be resulting in a painful time for your assistant. Oh, Brennan! What is the bucket X processor? Hmm, that notebook gym badge I see. But had I given you your first Pokemon only recently? Perhaps being a trainer is like a second nature to you. Uh, Professor of the Pokemon, why should it be so difficult? We're speaking to you on business because that is work for us. We're saying we demand you complete our far dreams. Quiet, you lot! Why must it be such nonsense? Let's see less of lessons soon either learn. One, don't let her about no good reason. Two, don't interrupt with others when they are attempting to come first. Three, if you don't get your own way, don't raise your voice to be intimidating. Four, don't think you'll grow strong just because you're in a group. Five, what is this outlandish outfit you're on? <laughs> My goodness, you'll cover yourself. I don't you kids don't grow up with these city spacemen. Heh, <sighs> you had to quickly make this personal. You'll force our hand in making a show of force. We'll make you regret insulting Team Galactic. You kids give these thugs a lesson in somebody, please. Brenner, let's battle together. All right, motherfuckers, let's go. Challenged by Galactic Grunt and Galactic Grunt. A glam meow and a stunky. Spark the fuck out of that glam meow. Why did he poison gas me? What did he just go for? How did I just get bodied? I was too busy speeding up, but I have no idea what just bodied Raylan. It must have been a crit of some sort. You never us no option, we will retreat for now. We shall do the team of galaxy in... in Benev... Oh, I can't even read what that says. That lot, they call themselves Team Galactic. With Pokemon evolved, they seem to release some type of energy. However, I believe there's a mystic terror power far beyond our control. The Team Galactic seem to be studying the power's potential. They want to know if they can use its energy for something. Brandon, did you know the professor studies the evolution of Pokemon too? According to his research, 90% of all Pokemon did somehow try to evolve. Well, maybe that's the reason this po po people tried to take the professor's research data by force. That's really unforgivable. It's all over. You all can relax now. So, thanks to you two, nothing came of the situation. I appreciate that. Incidentally, Brandon, could have seen you by far your battling skills. It got me thinking, why do you collect all the gym badges of Sinnoh? Doing so, you'll be sure to encounter lots of Pokemon. Of that means your Pokedex page will continuously fill up. In other words, it'll be a great help to my research. That said, I'll give you your first Pokemon and Pokedex so yours to keep. You're free to do with them as you wish. Take care now. Well, that was really good. Nicely done. Truly excellent. Oh, big if I'm from Jubilar TV. I'll add us something you'll surely let you smash and battle. Contained within the fashion case, you'll find a whole spit of chip accessories and tasteful backdrops. Dress up your Pokemon and watch the appeal grow. Right, 
uh, uh, right, the, the TV station is offering the first few visitors can dress up their Pokemon. There's also a prize giveaway too. Please do visit our TV station. Screw you, fat man. I ain't dressing up my Pokemon. Probably only Rosary, because Rosary would like to dress up, because Rosary is great. Even though she's only a Badoo right now. I'm going to try and find me a shiny stone. I'm sure I can buy one somewhere or something like that. Alright, let's carry on! Rabbit pad. Route 24. Okay, guys, so this is just my luck. So just as we get here on Route 204. Uh, I carry on with the rest of the episode. Uh, so I carried on up here. We did some battle with Star Starscreen, absolutely bodied here. Her, Starscreen bodied here. Mojo and Byron bodied these two. And then Mojo evolved. And then I went over here. I got Bullet Seed. Not fucking now. I got bullet seed, and then I come up here and I did my outro. So, like the last three minutes of the episode, for some reason, Dexter decided to stop recording, which is just my luck, like I said, because we had an evolution. It was the first of the series as well, which really fucking sucks. But that's going to be it for today's episode of Pokemon Platinum, you guys. Question of the day is, what was your favourite rock-type Pokemon since we faced the rock-type gym leader? Uh, if you're new around here, hit the subscribe button. Apologies for missing the first evolution uh, out of my control. I hit it when my software just decides to stop recording for some reason. But, if you have any comments or questions, make sure to put down in the comment section below or hit me up onto Abra Gamer HD. Everything you need is in the description down below. That is going to be it for today, guys. And see you guys next time. Peace!